What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. We are playing as Morocco. We're trying to make a spaceship and go into space, which is, you know, usually what you do with spaceships. Uh, we got the SS cockpit ready. We got one of the boosters. We got two more on the way and we are working on robotics, which will eventually lead to particle physics. Well, actually it doesn't lead to it. It actually leads to nanotechnology, uh, which allows us to make the stasis chamber and XCOM squads. And then also, particle physics are quite close. And, um, I was feeling a little threatened earlier by all kinds of different civilizations, mostly, uh, the Huns. So, to deal with that, I made some nukes, and now Casimir and, uh, Selassie of Ethiopia are very frightened of me. So, that's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep it going. So, we're trying to get all those spaceship parts, we're trying to get all the necessary... Uh, LF Brussels, that is not good. Brussels is mine. How did you even do that? That is insane. That is just blowing my mind. For real. Um, so yeah, I've also been trying to get some votes here and there to make sure that, uh, Grace doesn't win. The, uh, the world leader proposal thingy. And we used to actually have an equal number of votes, but he just got Brussels back. Uh, let's try it for Silk instead, bud. Oh, come on, why? You've got so many of those things. Give me that shit. Okay, sugar. Seven gold per turn. The price just went up. Okay, fine, six. You proposed six in the first place, you dumb son of a bitch. Okay. Whatever, man. The Huns have denounced Poland. Um, actually, I, um... I, um, bribed the Huns to go to war with Greece. So those guys are sort of duking it out, and then also Poland is still at war with Arabia, and anything can happen there, really, so... We're just trying to see what, what actually is going to happen. My guess is that, you know, Arabia will be d just removed from the map quite quickly. They're quite weak in in terms of everything. They're just not very strong. They're not a strong player. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's, that's how things are going. We have lots of uh, signs, though, so that's pretty sweet. Come on, hurry it up. I, I keep noticing that the game is actually running a lot slower towards the end of the game. It's a lot better than on my old PC, obviously, but it's just... Whoa, it passed. Look at that. That should get me a lot of extra um, city-states traits. That really should get me extra culture, but maybe it doesn't show it. And I, yep, pretty much single-handedly blocked the uh, proposal from Grace to Ben Citruses. Because I have some of those, and I want to keep them. I want to keep eating them. Uh, so let's see, we are... What are we doing? Let's send production to, uh, Marrakesh. Alright, and as soon as we reach 1500, uh, Faith, we're gonna be able to purchase another scientist. Which is gonna be good. We can't do it right now, because we need 1500. Pretty sure that it's gonna be the same, yep, same in every city, so we're getting there. Couple more turns, about six more turns, and we should be able uh, to get the next scientist. Rush our way through robotics and towards something else. Uh, you're angry. I do not give a shit. You're a loser. Look at your points and then look at mine. Alright, you got nothing. I have a lot more points from technology. But Ethiopia is definitely quite close, and the Huns are quite close as well. But not close enough. They're basically, I believe they're just starting to build the Apollo program. Some of them made it, some of them didn't yet. Um, so they're all just working on all kinds of stuff still. Wittenberg. If you're wondering about the grape sort of space that you see like that just now, like that, it's because I just loaded the game and when you don't lo look at the entire map first, you will see, uh, keep seeing these grape things every now and then, which is a little weird. But as soon as you... Oh, come on. Lost one from Colombo. You have got to be kidding me. How did you lose... Oh, the paratroopers. Yep, okay. Alright, so they are 14. Let's just uh, bribe them a little bit. Come back to me, Brussels, because I kind of need you guys. Got 22 votes. Alexander has got 22 votes. Uh, what we might be able to do is actually bribe him in some way to vote for me as the world leader, which would effectively mean that I win the game. But that's not really happening. At all. I don't think he's going to go for that whatsoever at any point uh, in the game. But, uh, you know, it never hurts to be hopeful. 
And then I'm making nukes in, in case someone decides to attack me, especially... Uh, you got it. Especially if, uh, Ethiopia ever decides to attack me, I want to be ready. I want to blast him off of the map, and then also when I win the game, I just want to launch all of my nukes at him, just for fun. Although I have to admit that he's been a pretty good guy throughout the entire game. He's really just been, you know, on my side, helping me out here and there. Three. Three gold per turn. Try seven, son. Six. Give me six gold per turn. Okay, let's make it five. That's as low as I'll go. Cannot go any lower than that. What will you give me for sugar, incense, and ivory? Six gold per turn and one oil. I might as well just do it, because I got all of them. You know, whatever. Let's just get rid of them. I could really use some cash. Because I am not doing too hot. It obviously doesn't help that I have all these cities with all these buildings inside of them, and then I have a lot of units uh, running around. That's just costing me a lot of money. Now I got this, got that, got all these workers, then I got uh, lots of caravans, which actually give me money. Another worker, all these units over here, a couple of boats here and there. Uh, it's pretty expensive stuff. Okay, in terms of upkeep. So, that's why I am not earning as much money as I could. Any upgrades? Any upgrades whatsoever? Maybe the tanks? I'm waiting for the tanks to get an upgrade, but I'm not really sure. Uh, if they have one. Upgrade unit, modern armor. That's what we need. Alright. Uh, and then as soon as we get robotics, we should be able to make spaceship factories around the map. Uh, I can get 28 votes total if I can convince Ethiopia to vote for me, which he was willing to do earlier. Vote for me. Pearls, iron, this is a bunch of pretty small shit. If that, if that stuff means that you will win the game, then it's not a big deal at all. Not at all. Um, let's move you from Sedan over to... Who has a lot of votes? I can pick any of them. Arabia, Poland. I guess I'll go with Poland, because he somewhat likes me. Arabia just does not like me whatsoever. Or Attila could be a good one. But he only has four votes. So, I will send you in Sedan over to Poland, which is Warsaw, isn't it? Pretty sure it is Warsaw. Yeah, it's Warsaw. Okay. Over to Warsaw, diplomat. Spread my shit. And then also, we need to keep our eyes open for the influence by player, because I have very little influence, obviously. But Ethiopia is really getting there, especially in, in with me. They're almost there. They get huge bonuses, and then also I don't just don't have that much culture. Um, so he's about to be influential over here, which isn't good. Alright, so if he actually... If we run the risk that he will win the game through that, I'm gonna nuke the shit out of that guy. Uh, sure, man. I have shitloads of sugar, so I don't really care. I just wish there was a city state that would gift you gold every turn. The Pentagon, that's an... Okay, wasn't... Expecting it. I decided to skip on a Pentagon a long time ago because I don't really upgrade that much. I mean, there are some pretty expensive upgrades, but I don't really think it's worth it to build a, you know, wonder for that. Because it's not even that expensive. It's my, I believe it was 300 gold at the most. You know, that's not that much. Maybe if you have a giant army and you need to upgrade everything all the time, then it might be worth it, but aside from that, eh. Probably not really. Alright, very literate. Uh, soldiers are actually- oh, number three! Would you look at that? That's a lot higher than I expected. Uh, GMP definitely went down by a whole bunch. And that's not good, but literacy doing good. Soldiers went up at the cost of GMP and other things amongst it, so... I mean, I guess I'm okay with that. I suppose that means I don't really have to upgrade any of my shit, which is good. Or, I mean, I don't really need to make any more soldiers ever. Because I have a lot of soldiers. Great War Bombers, still, I could probably upgrade them. 110 gold, it's not really that much. World Congress, I got 22. I need to get 15 more votes, which is 8 city stats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's all, that's all that's actually left. So I don't think I can actually win it by that. So I need all city-states, and then I need a lot of spies to station everywhere as diplomats to get me five extra votes. I mean, it is... Oh, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy to win that. So I'm going to be going for the, the science victory. 
You know, I got the means to defend myself. 14, yeah, sure. You just proposed that yourself, you... I don't... Three gold... That's an insult. Get out of my face. My god. Okay, well, at least we got the scientists soon. Research agreement. Uh, okay, as long as you vote for me. Okay, well, let's not... Let's not do that. Listen, if you vote for me... I will vote for me. Oh, he doesn't really... Okay. I will... Okay, let's see what he says if I say... Okay, I will vote for you. That's not even that much. We're talking about the victory of the game here, okay? Someone that gets all the votes wins the game. That, <clears throat> you know, honestly should be worth more than... What was it? Five, six gold per turn. That is taking the piss right there. Just fix your wine up, Columbo. I could really use some wine. That would be uh, delish right about now. <laughs>